everyone, welcome to the Thrifty Jewel where life is full of second chances. I'm Paula, I'm a full-time reseller. I sell on Poshmark and eBay. I find most of my items that I resell at thrift stores. I love going thrifting, in fact, it's my addiction. I've recently started doing some of my sourcing from ThreadUp. I have bought a few rescue boxes and I've done some unboxing videos. You can find those in my playlists. Also be sure to stay tuned all the way to the end of this video where you can watch some of my bloopers and we can all get a good laugh together. I also have just purchased some boxes from Jomar Wholesale and I have not received them yet, but when I do, I will be doing unboxing videos. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss those. Today I'm gonna to be sharing some of my photo tips. I've been selling on eBay for 13 years and I've taken a lot of photos of clothing and I've used all sorts of different kinds of methods of taking photos. After all these years, I think I have discovered one of the simplest ways to take clean, crisp photos. And I'm gonna share that with you today. I prefer to use a white background behind my products. I feel like I want the product to be presented out front and center. Over the years, I have purchased a lot of different backgrounds. I have purchased actual like photography backdrop, laminate flooring, I purchased materials, rugs, all kinds of different things to make my photos interesting and to have a really cool background. I read somewhere a couple of years ago that Google actually prefers a white background behind products that we're trying to sell. So I went out and I bought white sheets, Michaels, and bought a large white canvas that's as tall as I am and used that to lay my flat lays on and to prop up behind my mannequin. I've done all kinds of things with white backgrounds, trying to get rid of shadows and trying to make it clean and crisp. I bought lighting kits. I actually had a big white like a uh, photo backdrop that I had lighting behind. I have done so many different things trying to get a white crisp background, but I always got shadows. I found an app that I absolutely love. I've been using it for over a year now, and I'm going to show you the app. I'm gonna show you how I use it, and I'm gonna show you how I get a clean, white, crisp background behind all of my photos. Actually, the app just removes the background, and then you can take your product and you can pick whatever background you want it to be on. So I do not pay for this app. I use the free version. There is a pro version that you can upgrade to, and it gives you a lot more choices of things. But I just like the clean white background, and that's what I use. There is a logo on the bottom of all the pictures that you take that can be removed if you pay for the pro version but I just crop it out. So I have this dress hanging back here, actually just on my kitchen pantry, <laughs> and I'm going to show you how I take a picture of this and how I will be able to remove the whole background behind it. This, this vintage dress is so cool. I purchased it yesterday at a thrift store. It's from the 80s, and the bold colors on it I thought would turn out really good in my video, so I'm gonna use this as my subject. So I'm going to change things around a little bit, and I will be right back. So here is the app right here on my phone. It is called Photo Room. So you'll open the app, and you have all your photos will be on there. You will be able to use either the camera, or you can pull up a photo that you've taken already. So I'm gonna use the camera option, so it's gonna pull up the item on camera right now. Hope that you guys aren't seeing too much of a glare. I'm not a professional videographer, to say the least. So, okay, so here's my item. I always tap on the item and it brings up this little um, thing where you can lighten it a little bit if you need to, but I'm actually in front of some big windows right now, so I'm not gonna do that. But I'm gonna tap on it and I'm going to just hit the take a picture. And then you see this little scanner going up and down. It has removed the background. So all I gotta do now is hit confirm and it's gonna go right here, okay? And it's gonna have this little white background and you click on it and that's what it looks like. It removed the cabinet and you see down here the logo because I don't pay for the pro version, but that can easily be cropped out. So look at the difference in that background and this background. It really, really pops. How do you get this to your photos? All you have to do is there's this little icon up here. It's like a little send arrow. You just click on that. And then you, right here you can see if you, um, up, if you upgrade to the pro, you can remove the logo. But, um, so I'm gonna save it to my photos. And now it's in my photos. And that is it. This to me looks so professional. I could never achieve this when I used my white fabric or my white canvas. I always had shadows. This to me looks very professional 
and it's very clean and crisp and the product really stands out. That's what you wanna do with your items that you're trying to sell. You want the items to stand out so that people will buy them. This app is very user friendly. I will put a picture of the app right here so that you know what to look for when you go to your app store. So I hope that you found this video useful. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next video. I do, I do find, um, I do do some, I do do. I say next I'm hot <coughs> excuse me <laughs> I got a little tickle backgrounds oops <laughs> my cat just fell oh there's a shot of my ceiling